Thanks for joining us. This is a Signature TV News update. I am Ifunanya Ilodianya in the headlines. Nigerians advocate for huge investment in technological innovations as Raymond Dogbesi turns 70. Nambi Kano pleads not guilty as the case is adjourned. Super Eagles drop in latest FIFA rankings. Now the details. As chairman of Dia Communications PLC, Raymond Dogbesi celebrates his 70th birthday. Nigerians have, advoc have advocated for huge investments in technological infrastructure, saying that it was the only way to Nigeria's development. The chairman of NTN PLC, Dr. Enes Sundukwe, at a birthday lecture and book launch to mark the one-week celebration of the West 70th birthday held in Abuja on Thursday, said that infrastructure deficiency has slowed down development in Nigeria. Mazin Namikano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has pleaded not guilty to seven count charges slammed on him by the federal government. He made the plea as his trial for treasonable felony began at the federal high court in Abuja on Thursday. Reports from the courtroom said that the case has been adjourned till 10th November 2021, when the seven count charge was read to him. The IPOP leader pleaded not guilty. Count one of the charges read that Kano, being the leader of the IPOB, on diverse dates in 2014 and 2015 in London, did broadcast on Radio Biafra, monitored in Enugu and other areas within the jurisdiction of this honorable court. Preparations made by you and others now at large for states in southeast and south south zones and other communities in Kogi and Benue state to secede from the Federal Republic of Nigeria, with a view to constituting same in the Republic of Biafra and you thereby committed an offence, punishable under the Section 41C of the Criminal Code Act, CAP C77 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. The Nigerian government says he jumped bail in 2017 and fled to the UK. Kano, however, claimed he left Nigeria because his life was in danger. An FCT High Court sitting in Jabi on Thursday ordered that the former board chairman of Nigeria's Social Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF, Ngozi Olejeme, be remanded in Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's EFCC custody until Friday. The judge, Justice Maram Hassan, gave the order after listening to both counsel on the defendant's bill application. She directed that the defendant should be in EFCC custody pending the ruling on the application for bail on Friday. Mr. Lejamel, who was a board chairman of NSITF from 2012 to 2015, is standing trial over alleged criminal conspiracy, abuse of office, diversion of public funds, and money laundering. The one count chart bordering on mismanagement, giving false statements, taking kickbacks from contracts, and diversion of NSITF funds into personal accounts and companies she had interest in, formed the basis for the defendant's arraignments. One of the charges alleged that the funds were diverted through the award of suspicious contracts to proxy companies. The defendant, however, pleaded not guilty to the charges preferred against her. In business, spending by Nigerian residents rose from 54.84 trillion naira in nominal terms in the first half of 2021, higher than 48.22 trillion naira recorded in the first half of 2020. The report, which is according to the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, in its recent expenditure and income gross domestic product, GDP, noted that the expenses incurred by Nigerian household increased by 13.7% in the last six months of 2021, when compared with the corresponding period of 2020. However, according to the Bureau, it was 7.45% lower than 59.35 trillion naira spent by Nigerian household in the second half of last year. Household final expenditure is the amount of final consumption expenditure made by resident households to meet their everyday needs, such as food, clothing, housing, energy, transport, durable goods, notably cars, health costs, leisure, and miscellaneous services. On the foreign scene, the World Health Organization says the COVID pandemic will drag on deep into 2022 because poorer nations are not getting vaccines. 
according to Dr. Bruce Elwood, senior leader at the WHO. The COVID pandemic will go on for a year longer than it needs to because poorer countries are not getting the vaccine they need. Less than 5% of Africa's population have been vaccinated compared to the 40% on most other continents. The UK has delivered more than 10 million vaccines to countries in need out of the 100 million it had pledged. The original idea behind COVAX was that all countries would be able to acquire vaccines from its pool, including wealthy ones. But most G7 countries decided to hold back once they started making their own one-to-one -one deals with pharmaceutical companies. Now to the world of entertainment, let's join Blessing Adejo. Hello wonderful people, how are you all doing? It's Thursday evening, I hope you guys are having an amazing time. Well, it's a girl, Blessing Adejo. Welcome to another exciting episode of Entertainment News. Nigerian music superstar Wizkid has revealed that Justin Bieber reached out to him for the remix of his hit song record Essence. Bieber's appearance on the record has further driven the song up to Billboard Hot 100 charts. The remix is currently number 9 on the chart. Bieber was excited when he jumped on the remix taken to his social media to thank Wiz for letting him on the song of the summer. He went ahead to create his video for his verse and brought out Whiskey to perform the song on his set at Made in America. Gouda Ultimate Side Season 12 has kicked off and about 18 brave contestants are already facing challenges as they make their way to the jungle. Gouda Ultimate Search contestants are in search of Akolo secrets. Every season, Gouda Ultimate Search takes us on a journey through time to seek out a treasure that many say are mere tales of legends. This season, the age of craftsmanship takes us back to a small town called Ijuka, which existed many centuries ago. Now the Council of Elders has chosen eight brave warriors to go back in time to the age of craftsmanship to search for the iron chest containing Akolo's secret. These 18 warriors have endured several challenges to prove they are worthy of retrieving the iron chest of the wise craftsman Akolo. Which of them will find the chest and open it to reveal the secret of the craftsman? And that's it on entertainment news for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am in your host, Blessing at the job. Bye. In sports, Nigeria's men national football team, Super Eagles, have lost their position in FIFA men's ranking for October from 34 to 36 globally. However, Nigeria remains the fifth ranked nation in Africa. This followed their shock 1 0 defeat to the Central African Republic in 2022 World Cup qualifiers. Earlier in the month, Geno Ross men will go back to beat CAL 2-0 in the reverse fixture of their doubleheader, but it was not enough to prevent them from dropping in the rankings. Meanwhile, Belgium remains the number one ranked nation despite losing their two matches in the UEFA Nations League. Before we end the news, a recap of our major stories. Nigerians advocate for huge investment in technological innovations as Raymond Okwesi turns 70. Nandi Kano pleads not guilty as court adjourns till November 10th, 2021. Super Eagles drop from 34 to 36 in FIFA rankings. Safety and security begins with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Chibweze Obi, I am Ifunanya Ilodianya. Thanks for watching.